Okay, example number two. Which of the following are equivalent to log with a base of b and an input of 5? Okay, so if we have to find something equivalent to this, this is already very simplified. It can't be simplified anymore. Um, but as you can see, these examples or these options we are given aren't simplified. So if we can simplify them to that value, then it should be equivalent to that m value. Equivalent means almost equal, but um, it, it is less of equal. It is more like um, almost exactly the same. <laughs> okay, so let's go. So here we have a third as a coefficient of a log which means that a coefficient of a log may become the exponent of the input or the exponent of an input may become the coefficient of the log both ways is the same so we have 125 to the power of a third but we've learned before that fractional exponents mean that it is actually roots this is the third root of 25 125 the third root of 125 is 5 so log b, the cube root of 125 is 5. So we see this one is. Okay, so let's just circle them. This one is. Okay, how about the next one? Log negative log b of 1 over 5. Again, my fractional, my uh, coefficient of the log, this negative 1, becomes the exponent of the input of the log which in this case is 1 over 5 it now gets an exponent of negative 1 the whole base uh, notice how I put it in in brackets the whole input I mean becomes the base now we know that negative exponents mean divide so I am dividing with 1 over 5 that's the same as multiplying with 5 so log of base and the 1 over 5 just becomes 5 so this one is also equivalent because we could reduce it to the same expression next one this one log of base um, a tenth plus log of the same base and base and 50 now we know that when two logs are being added together the inputs may be multiplied so log of base, now the inputs are multiplied, so 50 times 1 over 10 gives me 50 over 10. So it's 50 over 1, so 50 times 1 is 50, 10 times 1 is 10, and 50 divided by 10 is simply 5. So log of b, log base b of 5, that's what I get if I simplify this. So this one is equivalent as well. Next one, I have a half log b of 25. See, it's the same as this one. The only difference now is my coefficient is a half, which means same rules apply. The coefficient of the logarithm may become the exponent of the input, which leaves me with, sorry, little space. Uh, 25 to the power of a half. And 25 to the power of a half is just the square root of 25, which is just 5. I think you're getting the hang of it. Okay. Uh, last one. Last one uses also our last law, well, um, that we haven't used yet, is that when we are subtracting logarithms from each other, the one that's being subtracted, uh, that one's input becomes the denominator of a fraction. So that one's input divides the first one, the positive one's input. So this is 45, gets now divided by 9. So when we subtract it, we may divide the interiors. And nine, 45 divided by 9 is simply 5. And that's it. This one, I forgot to circle the previous one. Okay both of, well, all of these are indeed equivalent to log b5. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you in the next video.